These highlights are brought to you by Lynch Homes, building homes of distinction. This afternoon we're at Millbrae, it's here against West. Here at top of the table in Premier 1, West are third from the bottom, but it means a lot to both sides. They want to hold on to that spot, and West, they want to move up from there. They want to get beyond that bottom four, so that they're not there when the league split in a few weeks' time. It means a lot to both sides this afternoon, I can tell you. And early on, the pressure on the West line. Well taken at the line out there by Mark Jenkinson. Looking for turnover ball, and yeah, they've got it. AJ McFarland picking up Andy Dunlop. Dunlop taken out by Murray McConnell, but the ball, Ross Curl, Curl jinking his way through over the line. No, taken out, just shot. Ball coming back quickly for air. McFarland popped it out, and the man over was Prop Gordy Reid. Opening try after only five minutes. And the simplest of conversions right in front of the post for Mark Bennett to open his account. Seven points to nil to air after only five minutes. And with 14 minutes gone, West starting to come back into the game. Graham Fiskin picking up at the back of the scrum, finding Murray McConnell. Loose pass there and snaffled up by Mark Bennett. But referee Gary Gordon had spotted a scrummage infringement. Up stepped Ali Stevenson. Straight through the post, West on the board, seven points to three after 14. Here big men piling on the pressure though, Ross Curl out to midfield, Mark Bennett almost breaking through the tackle there. And West slowing down the ball, making sure they don't get it too quickly, but a wee bit of illegal handling there. So Gary Gordon quickly taken by AJ McFarlane, Richard McCallum knocked over by Murray McConnell. They're arriving in numbers. And good defence there by West. But the scrum under a lot of pressure. Losing that one against the head. And locked to McFarlane. And oh, a lovely wee skip inside there by Andy Wilson. Beating Graham Fiskin's tackle for try number two for air. It was a wide kick for Bennett, but... The youngster slotted that one to take air into a 14 points to three lead going into the second quarter. Great take there by John O'Cross and AJ McFarlane looking for the options out to Richard McCallum. McCallum to Dougie Steele. Steele cutting inside. But David McFarlane's tackle stopping that one. Again, quick ball for air needed. It's just a wee bit on the slow side. McFarlane directing operations, Gordy Reid lurking with intent, and Glenn Tippett taking the ball through. And then Damien Kelly, oh, he's swatting the tacklers off like flies, look at it. And McFarlane out to Tippett, oh, perfect offload for Cammy Taylor to dive over in the corner. Simplest of tries, West just ran out of tacklers. Going into the final minutes of the first half, West, one last chance to close the gap before the break. Murray McConnell, Ali Stevenson into midfield. Dean Stewart putting a stop to that one. Quick ball back for West, though. McConnell again fed out to Callum McKenzie. And chip ahead there, but oh, just a wee bit too much weight on that one. And last chance gone. Going into half time, Air 19, West 3. Scrum Magazine. Subscribe online at scrummagazine.com. These highlights are brought to you by Lynch Homes, building homes of distinction. Right to the beginning of the second half, quick penalty taken by Murray McConnell. And Callum McKenzie might have had the last chance of the first half. He made no mistake with his first chance in the second half, absolutely skinning the air defence. Beating Grant Anderson's tackle in at the corner for a blistering try for the young West winger. Difficult one for Ali Stevenson, but straight through the posts. And now they got nine points and the whole of the second half remaining. So it was who was going to blink first, 
But it was West who are shunted back and back and back, almost ending up in the Burns Monument, for goodness sake. Andy did lock the man to pick it up at the back and get over for a try that really showed the power of the air pack. That was the bonus in the bag. Mark Bennett's conversion to take the score to 26-10 really closed the door. But it all went a wee bit quiet after that. And West certainly weren't going to lie down. Putting a bit of pressure inside their 22. Stevenson out to Richard Dalgleish. Looking for a gap there. Ah, Mike Sim. We stumble as he took that one, giving Air the chance to regroup. Richard McCallum. Trying to prevent the ball coming back too quickly, but Murray McConnell sticking it out there again. Getting very close to the air line. And, oh, knock on to referee Gary Gordon, scrum to air. Uh, going into the final quarter, West keeping up the pressure. Great jump there by Robert McAlpin, setting up the drive. Elliot McLaren beavering away at the back. Setting it up. The ball going forward. And forward, <laughs> and still going. Here, trying to bring it down, trying to do something to stop it. And oh, just a wee bit over anxious by Mark Jenkins in there. And it all came to naught. Ten minutes to go, and here suddenly coming to life again, Mark Bennett, almost through in midfield, but well placed by Stuart Malone. And Gordon Sykes looking for a wee bit of glory. Well, when you've come out of retirement, why not? But not quite getting there. And Damien Kelly thumping over, but held up to referee Gary Gordon. Hmm, big man will have something to say about that. But scrum to air, five metres out. And scrappy ball there. Taken round the blind side. And they're all lining up for this one. McFarlane pops it up to Kelly, and no, it's not an action replay this time. He is over. Gary Gordon signals a try. Number five for air. And conversion number four. Coming up for Mark Bennett. 33 points to 10. 10 minutes to go. Air home and dry. Looking for try number six. Lovely wee offload there from Ryan Wilson to McFarlane. Out to Bennett. And oh, Cammy Murray couldn't quite get a hold of that one. West keeping the ball alive though. And inside their own 22, prepared to have a flash of air yet again with only eight minutes remaining. And the ball switched out there. And look at this boy go. Callum McKenzie off again from well inside his own half, over the halfway line, over the 10 metre line, skinning the air defence and in for as good a try as you're going to see all season. What a beauty! <laughs> well, it might only have brought it to 33 points to 17, but Callum McKenzie will remember that one. And into the final minute. They are stung by that. Glenn Tippett up over the 10 metre line. Great pick up there by Ryan Wilson, Scott Nimmo in support, getting up towards the 22. Out to the right, and Richard McCallum to Bennett, Bennett to Murray Beckwith. First time the youngsters touched the ball since he came on. Taking it up almost to the west line. A oh, wonderful pick up by Richard McCallum to leave the west defence standing and go over for try number six right on the final whistle. Yeah, good to get a bonus point win um, at home. It's one of our targets over the game is trying one here and one here well. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. However, I thought our performance was probably close to our worst performance of the season. Um, no very many aspects of our game went well. Um, breakdown, um, contact, passing, um, lots of work to do. Pretty disappointed in our performance today. Um, but got a result, which is the most important thing. Ah, it's being so cheery that keeps Kenny Murray going. But well, what's he got to complain about here? Are three points clear at the top. West, well, they're a better side than that league position shows, I can tell you. And they'll be doing everything they can to get out of that bottom four. This is Ron Evans for Scottish Rugby Television at Millbrae.